name is John Merlo. I am a mix and tracking engineer here in Bakersfield, California. I'm working at the Beacon Studios today. Um, I'm just here to show you a few plugins that I received from a company called Sonics. Uh, they have some very common, very popular plugins. Uh, the Inflator, uh, the Limiter, and the Dynamic EQ is what I'll be working on today. So without further ado, I'd like to hop right into it. Uh, this is a song that I received from uh, Keen Devar, which is an artist I work with. So I'm going to play it with no processing, pretty much just how it was tracked. And then I'll move into, um, we'll start introducing the plugins so you can see what sonic characters that uh, the plugins have. So here we go. Hey, have a day. You could come chill in the space of mine. Some days it is all play, but no mistake. We ain't in this thing to waste no time And so I'm saying, hey, have a day You can come chill in the space of mine Some days it is all play, but no mistake We ain't in this thing to waste no time Yeah, I'm just chilling in my home This here is a zone Make no mistake that the place that I mention is a throne I know that they wanna take it Yeah, uh, but they don't have it within the thing it takes to constantly make mistakes and bounce back with an instinct to win. I take the beats and I binge. It's getting so. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn the plugins on. Hey, have a day. You could come chill in the space of mine. Some days it is all play, but no mistake. We ain't in this thing to waste no time. And so I'm saying, hey, have a day. You could come chill in the space of mine. Some days it is all play, but no mistake. We ain't in this thing to waste no time. Yeah, I'm just chilling in my home. This here is a song. So you can see that just the tracking of the vocals and the 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 stems of the the actual instrumental by themselves, they're they're clean, but they don't have any kind of uh, body to them. They're kind of thin, a little bit thin sounding. The moment that the plugins are introduced, especially when you start introducing. Um, the saturation, it really gives it like a really big, wide, full sound that adds to these things that otherwise might be a little bit thin and kind of get lost in the mix. So I'll start by um, kind of just going through some of the instruments first. Um, so the kick drum, we can look at what the kick drum has. There's two separate kick drum tracks. And I just went ahead and just did everything on this kick drum. Um, the kick drum as well has, uh, let's see, yeah. So the kick drum has, without this, we're going to play the kick drum by itself. And then as it plays, I'll introduce it so you can kind of hear it. You can just hear the body already, like the low end. So that's going to beef it up immediately. Now we'll go through the chain. Uh, the first part looks like I did a little bit of boost and I, I rolled off a little bit of the top end. Um, this EQ is incredible because it allows you to do your dynamics as well as just a regular EQ style. So if you see that this arrow is what's controlling this uh, high roll off here, the high roll off for the kick drum, I, I don't, I don't want all that in that kick drum sound, for instance. And then on these ones, I have these set to kind of like be an expander. It's going to give it a pump a little bit. So these, uh, these two bands are. Just giving a little bit of boost. You can see the, the movement of the line. So that was the first thing I did. Just a, a slight cut, little boost. And then after we introduce the inflator. And I'll just put to where we can hear the before and after with the inflator. Just gives it a little bit of that little saturation that it's doing is just now for the sake of it i can overdo it on the plugin just to show you 
let's do that. Let's just overdo it on purpose just so we can hear. That's a little bit much for me because the way this sits in, and especially we're listening to it soloed as well, in within the mix, it makes a lot more sense too. So let's get into the next portion of what we want to listen to. Um, I can just show you the drum bus. So let's listen to the drum bus. And I've used the plugins on the actual sounds themselves, the uh, individual tracks. So we have kick drum, two kick drums, a snare and a hat. And then I also put um, a limiter on the bus. So, you know, just to control it, just to give it that ceiling so we don't get, you know, we, it doesn't dip too low or it, we, we doesn't it get out of control. It just, it loses a little something. It's not just volume either. Some plugins you put on, they'll kick it up 2 dB and you'll be like, oh, that sounds incredible. But the 2 dB is just volume, right? It's just, it's just louder and it sounds better to the human ear. But I was pretty adamant about trying to match volumes as I did this plugin. That way you can hear not just be in awe of a, a volume boost, but be in awe of what it's actually doing. So. so now we'll just play the entire instrumental. Um, I'll just mute all the, I'm just going to mute the vocals and we can kind of just hear it. Also, we have some side chaining going on and we'll go over the side chain as well for if you need to side chain. In this case, it's the kick and the bass. So. Bypass plugins. Just gone. Everything's gone. Now we'll take we'll bring it back. Just beefs it up nice. Okay, so that's already a great start. Um just making it big and and uh just out, stick it out in the mix to bass and stuff. So this is the the sample that was given to me in one piece. It wasn't separated as bass. It wasn't separated as synth, all separated. It was all in one. So uh, there's a couple of things I did to to get that. I pretty much split this signal into... Uh, 236 and below is on the left side. And then everything above that will be on the right side of the splitter. And you can see on the base part, I use an inflator. And it looks like I jammed it pretty, pretty high on the, uh, on the low end of that. So we can play that. I'll turn off the high frequency so we can kind of hear it again. And then we'll... Yeah, just a slight boost, but you can definitely hear it when I kick it back on. So we just beefed it up the bottom end. The high end looks like um, looks like I have an EQ, and I didn't do very much. There is a little synth part that that does cut through a little bit more. It looks like I used three and four just to tame those high frequencies that are coming through. So let's listen to the higher part with just the high part, no bass in it. You can just see it, just, you know, just slapping it down a little bit on those high. Now we'll introduce the bass. All right, then at the end, which is, uh, looks like I did a limiter and then another dynamic over the, the entire sound. So the limiter, nothing crazy. It looks like I'm just barely getting the game. If anything, I might just be using a little bit of enhance. 
that's part. Yeah, it's not even touching the limiter, so that's okay. We're not in the mastering process, so we don't need to touch the um, the zero yet. And dynamics looks like I. This is a side chain, so what this is pretty much it looks like this is going to be side chain with a kick drum looks like. Pretty wide cut. I know it looks a little like to me. It looks a little odd of seeing that, that that cut or that that band is that wide, but it sounds good, and it's hard to argue with it if it sounds right. So there's a reason I did that, I guess. I don't really remember why I did that wide, but it works. We're gonna leave it. All right. So moving on. Now we're at the point where. Uh, we can start turning on side chains. We can, I, I, there's a couple plugins that I used other than, um, than the, the Sonics companies, uh, plugins, the three that I mentioned earlier. Um, just because sometimes you, I can't get everything that I need out of just the three that I want to show you. But m for the most part, they're Sonics. And I think I use some that are built into the DAW. I'm in Studio One, so I have a Studio One uh, reverb. I have a Studio One, did some filtering, nothing crazy, a delay. These are all Studio One things. And there's a couple that are not, but. So let's go to, now keep in mind also, I didn't mention it earlier, but um, the, the plugins, I've already processed a lot of these, especially the vocals have already been processed outside of the box and have been printed in. So when you see the track here, it's not just those plugins and that's what's getting the sound. It's already undergone a little bit of processing on the outside of the box, like on some gear, and then it's been recorded in. We're using these plugins to kind of polish up and get it ready for the final mix. And that's pretty much what it is. So let's listen to the verse and we'll start breaking down vocals now and figure out, you know, how it sounds with that. So here we go. Oh, we gotta unmute that. So we'll listen to the vocals. Yeah, uh, but they don't have it within The thing it takes to constantly make mistakes And bounce back with an instinct to win I take the beats and I binge It's getting so hard to get under my skin That all my enemies are about to be friends And I invite them to den Even though they end up making a minion I finish peace and I floss and let my story continue The page different, no I mean the page different Wait the page do Growing love from all this hate too The disconnect is so broad Because if I ain't talking about all these broads are trapping I'm on a wave that they really just can't can't relate to I was on a mission and pass on my intuition Expecting them all to get it But realize that I am different That's the vibe Hey, have a day hey, that's a vibe You can come chill in the space of mine hey, feel the vibe. It is all play But no mistake hey, That's a vibe We ain't in it Stay no waste no time yeah. And so I'm saying Okay Vocals really clean We haven't got a chance to add Any reverb Any kind of like Delay any kind of anything like that on it, but that's not what the purpose of this is. The purpose is to, I don't want to hide it from you. I want to show you the way, what it's doing. And then from there, we can continue on and, and do, you know, add whatever sauce you're going to add on it. Um, so we're going to solo this main vocal. And we're going to just show you what it's doing to this vocal. So I know that vocal is a big time thing. Vocal is going to be, for the most part, what everybody is going to be hearing or listening to in a song for the most part. So uh, let's turn it off, everything off. I have uh, some multi-band compression that is just barely touching it on certain frequencies, but I have some of that on here. And then we go into the dynamics, uh, the uh, dynamic EQ, and then it's going to have some limit on it. And on a limit, for for when I 
mix vocals especially i'll always put usually just put a, a limiter on the end of the chain just to be able to slap down anything that might have got a little loud or that might have just slipped through just as a safety so chances are the limiter is barely working but that's the way i've set it up to barely work on a vocal track like this so let's turn them off yeah uh but they don't have it within the thing it takes to constantly make mistakes and bounce back with an instinct to win i take the beats and i binge it's getting so hard to get under my skin that all my enemies have vouched to be friends and i invite them to in even boost. though they end up making a menu i finish feasting off okay, well, loss and let my story continue the page different no i mean the page different wait the page to growing love from all this hate to the disconnect is so broad because if i ain't talking about all these broads are trapping i'm on a so that gave you like a heavy, like from a throat voice to a chest voice just by turning on these things. So let's take a look at what what the dynamics are looking like. It looks like we did some cuts. And again, earlier I mentioned it. Normally when, I, when I'm cutting frequencies, I try to keep the bands thin. Because if you start cutting huge chunks out, it just doesn't sound right to me. It just sounds unnatural. But for whatever reason, this dynamic EQ, it, it, it's, it's smooth. It's not like cutting big chunks out when I make these bands a little bit wider than I normally would. And then it looks like I have, um, I'm just boosting a little bit here on this green one. And it just it sounds great. And notice that I have, I have number two set to the below feature. Um, from what I've, from what I understand, like I said, I don't want to get too techy, but from what I understand, the below one acts as more of like a expander and the above kind of more of a compression feel. So for what it's worth. So, uh, yeah, so we can see what's going on here. Yeah. Uh, but they don't have it within the thing it takes to constantly make mistakes and bounce back with an instinct to win. I take the beats and I binge. It's getting so, so hard to hitting, get under my skin. We're and all my the enemies are about to be the friends. And I invite them to den, even though they end up making a bad. menu. I finish feasting off loss and let my story. So, however, I choose to. I mean, I'm not. I don't have the 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 ratio, which is in this case the dynamics. I don't have those set really high, so that allows me to hit number five a little bit harder. So let's listen to it in the mix again. I'm going to play everything and then I'm going to turn off the plugin so you can see how the vocal will kind of feel like it gets lost. And then when I come on, it becomes present again. So let's turn these off first. Yeah, uh, but they don't have it within. The thing it takes to constantly make mistakes and bounce back with an instinct to win. I take the beats and I binge. It's getting so hard to get under my skin that all my enemies are about to be friends. And I invite them to den, even though they end up making a menu. I finish feasting off loss and let my story continue. The page different, no, I mean the pace different. Wait, the page yeah. Growing love from all this hate to the disconnect is so broad because if I ain't talking about all these broads are trapping, I'm on a wave that they really just can't relate to. I was on a mission and passing my intuition. Expect so to me, it's night and day difference. I'm a big fan of having somebody's voice, especially um, depending on the song. I, I want it to be a strong vocal. I don't want it to be weak and thin. I'm sure that that's the case for most songs. Um, but it sounds great. It looks like uh, the ad lib track has some dynamics on it, and it looks like I'm just using this as um, as a uh, a filter for the. Hey, making a menu. Let's turn it up a little bit so we can hear it. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. I have a uh, stock. Uh, gate plug-in on. Uh-huh. Nah. Yeah, just a little bit of sibilance and rolling Ay. off the bottom. Ay. We'll yeah. put this back yeah. to negative Ay. five five. That's the vibe. Hey, that's the vibe. All right. Now we can kind of move on. So we've covered some of the drums, we covered some of the sample stuff. Um a lot of the 
the vocals are are individually processed and then they're dumping into in this case like a a bus channel that has more plug-in on it um so there's three different parts of this and i didn't play it for you but the end of the song has this has this crazy breakdown you can see it here in the green where it transforms it kind of goes half speed and it's crazy but Let's go down here and listen to this slow part. And They got something to say, but I see that Nothing comes from their mouthpiece Whenever they speak about me I got no intention to doubt me Cause without me they're So, the low one The low one is just going straight It just has, um, you know, that shift down That's all pretty much at this point And this is not a complete mix either So I just want to show you like the inner workings Of where we're going with it uh, This This blue vocal that is printed That ends up here it looks like it has a little bit of different processing on it than the other ones have. It's the same plugins, but you know they sit different, uh, different in, in a, a beat that's halftime like that with the low pitch. So hey, nowadays everybody wanna Over talk that. like they got something to say, but I see that nothing comes from their mouthpiece. Whenever they speak about me, I got. So it looks like very similar to the other one where we we boosted the low, we've made cuts on the high. So we've gone over um, the processing that went on the sample. We'll play that one more time, just a quick refresh with it. And then I'll just kick it off. Just lost a lot of power, a lot of energy. So We'll go over the side chaining functions that we have set up here. In this case, the very, very popular kick and bass relationship, how those have to fit together, and they're both usually in the low register. So we got to make those fit together. In this case, we want our bass to slightly duck whenever uh, the kick drum hits in that case. So we would go to where we want the duck. At this point, at the, let's see, it's right here. So this is going to be the two that we looked at earlier. Um, and you'll see that when the kick drum hits. Hey, have a day. You could come chill in a space of mine. Some and all, that, all that's doing, all that is is just ducking it. And here's how you set that up. So on the side here, you can see EQ and then your side chain. Both of those will obviously have to be on. And since we're using we're using an external uh, trigger, we're going to set this to the side here. So um, we're set here. And if you ever wanted to just hear, like for instance, this is one of my favorite features on this entire EQ is how you can click on the little headphone and just hear what's going on in whatever band that you're highlighting. So if you don't want to hear everything or if you want to zero in on something, it's nice to be able to just solo that band out and then go from there. So our side chain is set up and then we'll just go over to the kick drum and we'll we'll leave this up so we can look at it as well. So th in this we have right here. Yeah. So it's triggered right here to you see kick drum. So studio one um it just gives you a pretty 
pretty easy list to look at and whatever you wanted to have trigger. So in this case, the trigger is the kick drum and yeah. So the snare drum, the snare drum took a lot of time because I felt like the snare drum in this one was again, weak. It wasn't popping through. It didn't give any kind of excitement or any kind of energy to the track. So let's play the, the kick drum, I mean, uh, the, let's play the snare, nothing on it, and we can kind of get an idea. Maybe I'll just play it with like within the drum track. It sounds very weak, very thin, not, not great. I mean, it's just there, right? It's not really popping through. So for the snare, we did some crazy stuff we used again we used um the arrow not the number but the arrow in order to use it as like a filter we rolled off everything that's going to cause mud the snare drum doesn't have really sub frequencies in it that we need so we're going to get everything out of the way we can so we, do, we don't mud it up so for this snare drum we rolled off um a lot of the low frequencies just to keep them out of the way of the bass and uh, everything else. And we did a boost. To me, this was like the magic frequency for the snare drum. Is that low, full, 220 is where we're at, 221. It just gave it like beef, you know, beefed it up. And it looks like we, we might have cut a little bit of resin, uh, resonance here. And let's see, that would go directly into the inflator. Looks like we're pretty moderate on that as well. And then into a limit, which again, I don't, we can just take a look. So let's get all these up in order. And we can kind of take a look at, put these in order of what the chain is, how they are in the chain. I think that'll be interesting to look at. All right. So here's how it goes. So we'll play it now. We ain't in a stain and waste no time. And so I'm saying, hey, have a day. You could come chill in a space of mine. Some days it is all play, but no mistake. We ain't in a stain and waste no time. I'm telling you. It, the way that that is cutting through the track now and it gives it it just gives it some excitement it gives it a little bit of something let's play without it that's i just like doing that to me it, it it's the best way to be able to show you what these are really capable of doing hey have a day you can come oh. chill in the space of mine some days it is all play but no mistake we ain't in a stain to waste no time and so i'm saying oh. hey have a day you could come chill in the space of mine. Some days it is all play, but no mistake. A lift. We it looks like on our hi hat track and our snare track, we have a little bit of room reverb that we added, which is a stock plugin. Just a very it's a, it's a preset. There's nothing to it. It's just a little bit of something to give it a little bit of livelier sound. Hey, have a day. You could come chill in the space of mine. Some days it yeah, is all play, it well. no mistake. We ain't in a stain to waste no time. And so I'm saying, hey, have a day. You could come chill in the space of mine. Some days it is all play, but no mistake. We ain't in a stain to waste no time. Yeah, I'm just chilling in my home. This here is a zone. So that's going to conclude. Um, my demo of the Sonics Dynamic EQ, the uh, Inflator, and the Limiter. They've meticulously put these together with the user in mind. I hope you enjoyed. Um, really look forward to seeing what else um, Sonics comes out with because they're great plugins. They're high quality. And yeah, anything that gives you that, you know that fullness, I'm with it. So 
Thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it, and um, hope to see you soon.